What's going on guys, no guides here, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to go over camera angles, I'm going to show you the most meta camera angle in my opinion, the best camera angle in the game I think personally, it gives you the most information. I'm going to show you some examples and give you some annotations to show you why it's the best camera angle in a game and I'm also going to show you a comparison after one where you can see the most traditional and most conventional camera angle that most people use which is tele-broadcast in comparison to the best one which I think is called co-op. Um, so I want to go over them all. The most important thing with camera angles, everyone has a specific style. The first thing you need to notice is different camera angles have different kind of views depending on a stadium. So for example, the Santiago Bernabeu is one of the widest stadiums in the game. If you use that stadium in comparison to another one, which is quite more narrow, the perspective will be much more different. That's the first thing. That's why this, even though you might watch me play foot champions or whatever, your camera angle may look different. It just depends on the stadium. Now, I personally use co-op. I'll go through the fine, minute details of what my measurements are towards the end of the video. But I just want to show you an example. This is just a clip um, from my Foot Champions channel from between a match. As you can see, um, the player on the screen right now has the ball on the top half of the pitch. And this is tele-broadcast. Now, the reason why I don't like tele-broadcast is it basically relies you to use... So, normally, in a normal match, your radar is over here problem is um, you have to always look at the radar the entire time and I think this is what I would say is the difference between becoming a good player and a bad player is try to get the ability to not look at the not look at the radar too much just kind of glance at it but I think if you're beginning or you want to get better at the game I think cop is the best camera angle to use because it makes you make more informed decisions you know where all your players are on a pitch etc etc you don't have to even look at the radar so I think it's better to also become a better player as well now this is tele-broadcast, as you can see, um, the fine line we can see up to, we can barely see my opposition's play on this half. Now we're just going to compare this uh, to, uh, to, to co-op. Now this is the camera angle that I use. Now the reason why I like co-op is that you can see the entire pitch. Now why this is really important is, if you remember, you could only see up to this much on tele-broadcast, right? So that means you're restricted. Now obviously there are some benefits of it being a bit more zoomed in. Some may argue that... Your game might appear faster because the camera sways from left to right, left to right, so it appears to be faster. Um, you can argue dribbling is much better when it's kind of a more zoomed in, you can say, you have more kind of control because you can see your player's legs easily, you can kind of react to their movement. But the problem is you restrict half of the pitch. But you see with Cop, I can see where my entire team is lined up and see this is what the difference is. For example, just from this camera angle, I can immediately see that my opponent's playing a 4 1 2 1 2. You see that? You can't see that on, on any other cam angle. It's like, for example, my 5-2-1-2, right? If you play my 5-2-1-2, you know that the fullbacks are really wide. They're almost like over here. Now, traditionally speaking, those that use a tele-broadcast camera angle, you can't see those fullbacks in play. So that's one of the biggest downsides about using tele-broadcast is you can't see the entire pitch. Now, if you want to get better at the game, it's also best to see the entire pitch to make more informed decisions. What I mean by that is, let's say, for example, in this instance, let's say this player was running forward. And let's say, for example, you lost, you kind of um, lost the ball. Now you would know there's like a kind of a gap in that position because that player won't be there anymore. Then you could smartly and think, okay, you know what? I need to choose a CDM and maybe go and cover that position. You see what I'm saying? But if you have tele broadcast, let's just go back to tele broadcast for a second. Now, if you're on tele broadcast, let's say your right back is out of position. You can't visibly see that unless you look at the radar. So I'm trying to say, if you're getting, maybe if you're like above gold one, and you're already on tele-broadcast, maybe it's no point changing, although I'll still advocate using co-op. But I think if you're getting used to the game, you're below go one, you want to really become a better player, I think co-op is one of the most important things. And it's not even just seeing about your players, it's even analysing the way your opponent is playing. So let's say your opponent commits one player forward, you know where to go. If this player is unmarked, you know, for example, you can get the ball with Neymar just do an L1 triangle because he has no, he has no essentially has no left back. Or his left back is pushed upwards because he's on overload the ball side. Especially people now, don't forget, many people are now using overload the ball side, right? So I'll make a video on this, but overload the ball side means that if the ball's in the middle, the team will contract. If the ball's on the wing like it is now, the team will basically shift to the ball side. Same with the opposite side. That's how the team, that's how overload the ball side works. As in this bit being the, defense, the opponent's defensive line and this being the ball. So that's why it's very effective to use cop because you can exploit those gaps. Now, I'm just going to show you two clips. I'm just going to quickly show you two, clo um, two segments. So this is just from the game. Now we're going to start with cop. Now as you can see the entire pitch, you can see the way it's laid out, 4-4-2, overload the ball side. You see these options? You see? Now this player made this pass over there. This person's a pro player. Now he could see that pass on the radar. 
Will the average player make that pass? Probably not. But as you can see, you can see the entire pitch. You can see what your opponent's doing. How is he pressing? Okay, you can see now he's shifting. You can see how his defensive line is. You can see your, your fullbacks are free. And you can always go back. And you know now, if you lose the ball, you know how many players are available. You know he's kind of playing very deep, almost playing the counter. You have so much information on the pitch. Now, we're going to watch that very same clip again. But we're going to use a telebroadcast camera angle. Because this is telebroadcast now, as you can see, it's much more zoomed in. You can't even see what's going on now. Of course, you can see what's going on, but you can't see the entire pitch. For example, that pass, had you not looked at the radar, you wouldn't have made that pass. Now, the chances are, if you're watching this video, I know a strong majority of you don't look at the radar, or not too often. And that's why the cop cam angle is really good. In fact, the main reason why I changed the cop cam, especially for Tiki Taka play. Now, I used to play attack in Tiki Taka. That means I used to always attack, and I always wanted to see the entire pitch. Because you can see where all your players are. Now as you can see your telebroadcast, you can't see the top of the pitch. You're so restricted in this situation. Even for example like here, you're kind of just restricted to the top half of the pitch. But then if you have for example co-op as I mentioned, you can see the entire pitch, the entirety and then you can decide what to do. And that's why I always advocate using uh, co-op over telebroadcast. Now I know some of you use um, tele. Um, tele is also a, a good camera angle. I'm not really too much. I don't really like it. It's kind of a bit too static. It is really good though because it's kind of head on. So let's say you want to do like a, um, you want to do like a, let's say you want to do a through ball. Let's say Neymar makes a run in behind. You know where the defensive line is. You can kind of like align it correctly so you can time the pass very well. That's what the good thing is about tele camera angle. Default, I wouldn't really recommend too much. Tele broadcast is a bit slanted. Obviously, in the middle of the pitch is not too, not too much of an issue. But obviously, as the ball goes to the wider areas of the pitch, it's a bit more slanted. Um, but I think Corp, the good thing is, as I said, it gives you a complete overview of the entire pitch and you can time your runs and you can see everyone on the pitch. And a good thing is, if you want to trigger players to make runs, let's say you want to trigger this player to make a run, traditionally on telebroadcast, you have to look at this player on the radar first, then trigger this player to make a run going forward. But on this camera angle, all you have to do is just select the player with the left analog stick and then press the L1 or the LB button, that player will be triggered forward. So it's very, very beneficial. What I would say is try it for a whole weekend league. Um, I think the most important thing is you have to try it for an entire weekend league and then make a decision whether you like it or not. Um, I would say try zooming in the most. I was going to show you a quick comparison video. Um, so this is a comparison video. Um, this is kind of telebroadcast uh, versus co-op. Now this is from an, um, a clip uh, from two very good players again. And I just want to sh just visibly show you the difference. Now, as you can see immediately, you can see so much more on Corp. You can see how much space is behind this player. You can see oh, see that amount of information you can immediately see on telebroadcast. It kind of restricts you from seeing all that movement. You see that? You see even at this situation, I can see how much space is between these two players. Whereas on telebroadcast, you can't even see that. And see, that's what's important. It's the visual information that you, that you can acquire, which is very important. So even like here, you know, I could have I could have distributed the ball to my right to my left back over here, but you see you can't see that again. You see you see how you can't see so many different things? And this is why I think cop is the better camera angle. Like as you can see here, if you look at for example the players, you can see the, the distance. Just if we're just gonna go back this clip just a second earlier. As you can see from this clip, if you focus, you can see the actual distance in the beginning before the pass is even gonna be made. So let's say for example you wanted to pass the ball to the left winger, right? See here, you can't see how much space is behind this player and the and the defender. Whereas in a cop camera angle, you can see the space between the player that's running in behind and your opponent's back. So that's why it's really, really important, especially if you're making this through ball. See, like even at this point, if you make this pass in telebroadcast, you wouldn't know whether to make a through ball here or a normal pass. But you see on cop camera angle, you can see visibly there's another player here, an enemy is here. So you know, okay, you can't do a through ball. And that's what I'm trying to say. It may, allows you to make more informed decisions, especially if you don't look at the radar. I think the key is if you don't look at the radar, it helps you create those informed. Now here, for example, like the ball, you can see now you can see how your opponent's lined up. You can see he's playing like a 4-4-2. You, can, now you, can see, you see how you can see the space here? Look, you see this space you can't even see on telebroadcast. But again, you can see you have a player almost completely free on a wing. A simple lob pass down to that player. That player would get the ball easily. But again, you can't see that on telebroadcast. Now, even when you're defending, let's say your opponent has the ball. Let's say you're the, you're, the, you're the team in white for this moment of time, right? You can see, for example, there's a player there. So you can decide, okay, you know what? Maybe I've got to bring this guy forward, back. And maybe I've got to bring this player to defend the strike role, bring a striker back. See, all these decisions, even from a non-attacking perspective, from a more defensive approach, you can see, for example, how it's working, how the player's moving, 
and where it is on the picture. And that's why I personally believe Co-op is the greatest and superior camera angle. Now, in case you're wondering what camera angle I'm using, I'm using Co-op. I want to explain to you how you can basically try Co-op and I will give you my settings that I suggest the most. Obviously, when it comes to camera angles, it depends on personal preference. There's no right or wrong camera angle. Um, and I'll kind of go through briefly what the pro players use at the end as well, in case you're wondering. Um, so in terms of my camera settings, I'll show you the exact ones that I use. So go to just go to a match, go to settings. Um, and then what I do is you go to game settings and then my camera angles co-op. Um, here you can try obviously a lot of them. I use co-op um, and uh, the camera settings, I put this to custom. I have my height on 20. The reason why, as you can see, you kind of get a more of a top-down holistic bird's eye type view, kind of elevated approach. So as you can see in the background, that's a goal with a height of uh, 20. Now the camera zoom, um, now you can zoom in all the way. Now I personally zoom out all the way because I want to see more of the pitch. But if you're first converting to the cop camera angle, I'd recommend just zooming all the way in. And then over time, start zooming out because the jump between telebroadcast and cop is quite a lot. Um, if you can see, for example, uh, as you can see, tele, uh, if, you go, if you go to uh, single player, if you go to tele broadcast, as you can see the camera angle, if we zoom zoom out, it's still quite wide. Most people play like this. So even when you zoom out all the way on tele broadcast, it's still not compared to co-op. So that's why I recommend obviously trying it. You're probably going to lose the first couple of games because you're not used to it. And the question you're probably going to ask me is, don't the pro players use tele broadcast? Well, it's true. At the end of the day, it comes down to personal preference, right? But I want to be honest with you, unless you're a pro player, you shouldn't be worrying about what they're doing. Because first of all, they look at the radar. Now, if you look at the radar, as you can see, if you look at the radar on the screen, then you're fine. But if you're a player and you don't look at the radar, then it's better to use co-op. Don't forget, these pro players have been playing for years. And by the way, there is still some pro players that use the co-op camera angle. But I'm saying, in case you're wondering, okay, the, the pro player use telebroadcast, let me use it. For them, it's due to because they're used to it. But more importantly, they use the radar a lot. So if you're the kind of player that doesn't use the radar, I think Cobb is the best camera angle for you. You can see everything what's going on. You can see the fullbacks. You can trigger that fullback to make a run. Again, you wouldn't have seen that fullback even even in the telebroadcast camera angles. That's what I'd recommend. So as I said, I'm on zero zoom, 20 height co-op. I'd recommend obviously trying it for like a four foot champions, uh, trying it for quite a long time maybe 30, 20 or 30 games the reason why is the first couple of games you will lose probably um but it's going to be a long-term transition again the more informative approach is better if you want if you want to get better at the game believe me the more informative approach especially for pressing especially for your time wasting. don't forget imagine like in a situation imagine you're defending and you want to waste time right so let's say for example you're one that's time managing or you're, you're getting you're struggling getting pressed you can see everyone on the pitch. You have to look at the radar. You can see where your players are. So you can, of course, pass to anyone on the pitch. And this is what the one of the benefits of Corp is. But also if your opponent has the ball, you see when you're defending, you can know, okay, you know what? My strike is there. Okay, you know what? I can see that player down the wing. Let me just quickly change to this player over here. Kind of help you double up against this person over here. I can see the guy in the middle. See that? All this information can be seen. You can see, okay, there's two players running inside the box, someone outside the box. See, all this information can only be gathered in co-op. And that's why I'd recommend just try. I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, if you try co-op and it's not for you, don't worry. Sometimes not all the formations are going to be for you. It might not work for you. But everyone that I've taught about co-op, I think they've almost very much converted towards it. So I would highly recommend it. Anyway, I just want to say a massive thank you for watching this video. Take it easy. I'll catch you in the next one. If you do have any other questions, of course, do let me know in the comments down below. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day and don't forget to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Neil Guides. Link will be in the description. As I said, thank you very much for watching again. Take it easy. Peace out, boys, and have a good rest of your week.